Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Microsoft is making their own upscaling tech. AMD's new GPU costs how much? Millions of gamers are at risk and GPU prices just hit below MSRP. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, it looks like Microsoft is set to challenge Nvidia and AMD's upscaling technology with their own. According to a report by TechSpot, Microsoft is hiring engineers to develop upscaling for the Xbox Series X. What's interesting is that it's set to use Microsoft's own machine learning API, so it would be much closer to Nvidia's DLSS compared to AMD's Super Resolution. Now, I will say that Microsoft has discussed this in the past at a developers conference, but it's clear that they're ramping things up. Either way, competition is certainly heating up in this space. Let's just hope it doesn't get too crowded and ultimately leave people out. Still, it's really interesting to see. If you're like this guy who only has time to read at 3am before passing out on his couch, I've got the answer with today's sponsor. Blinkist, the app that takes thousands of titles across 27 different categories and condenses them in a short 15 minute snippets called Blinks. So you can learn something new and have extra time to do the other things you enjoy. To top it off, you can choose to read or listen like an audiobook, which means you can even learn while doing other things. At the end of the day, you can't beat expanding your mind in just 15 minutes. So don't wait any longer by visiting Blinkist.com slash GamerMelt and the first 100 of you who visit the link will get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off on the full membership after. Next up for today, it looks like we finally have a release date and potential price for AMD's next GPU. That is, their mid-range RX 6600 XT. The story originally comes from a video by Cortex, where he claims that the 6600 XT is set to be released in August. Not only that, but he discussed a price that he claims is speculation, though seemed to hint that he was told it and things could simply change. Plus, during a podcast for Moore's Law is Dead, the known leaker Kepler commented the same price. And that price is, get this, $399. How could you do that? Oh, God! No! No! What's so unbelievable about that is that it's expected to be right around the same performance as AMD's last gen 5700 XT, and that also launched for $399. Meaning if this is right, AMD is essentially selling a two-year-old GPU for the same price when it launched. Of course, that's to ignore the shortages that have been crippling the industry. Prices are simply much higher than they have been in a long time, but it's still frustrating to see, especially when, even at that price, it'll likely sell out in milliseconds. Then again, even if that price is right, AMD will likely lower it soon, but I'll get to that in a second. Next up for today, if you're running a Windows PC or server, you Everyone, need to hear this room, story. Right now! And I'm talking gamers, businesses, everyone. Basically, a new exploit was recently discovered after the security firm Sangfer mistakenly published a proof of concept exploit code before a Black Hat conference. Apparently, they thought Microsoft had already issued a mitigation. Now, they quickly deleted it, but not before it was shared elsewhere, meaning hackers now have a guide to using the vulnerability. And according to Microsoft, it's actively being exploited. The vulnerability is called Print Nightmare, and it's a flaw in the Windows Print Spooler service. What's so bad is that the exploit can be used to install programs, create user accounts with full access, and more. Luckily, Microsoft has released emergency patches for multiple versions of Windows. And to give you an idea of just how bad this is, they even patched Windows 7, which wasn't supposed to get any new updates. Now, I will say that some reports claim that there's a workaround of the patch, but Microsoft said that it requires registry changes that make it insecure. Ultimately, Microsoft recommends that you install the updates as soon as possible, and I'll have a link to it in the description, so make sure to do that. And lastly for today, a new milestone has been reached in the epic GPU shortage saga that shows we're finally reaching the end. So far, we saw prices fall in different parts of the world back in June. Just two weeks later, an even sharper drop occurred. Then I briefly discussed this article on lower prices for miners selling off cards, but a new report from The Block gives us a ton more insight. Basically, it looks like China's crackdown on crypto mining operations has had a huge impact on GPU prices, not to mention the essential crash that happened in the crypto market as a whole recently. Since then, miners have been flooding the used market with GPUs, 
and according to this report, one miner tried to sell a batch of RTX 3060s for what amounts to between $336 and $450 each. What's surprising is that the owner couldn't sell them for that and had to quickly lower each GPU down to just $270, making this one of the first times ever that a 30 series card was selling for lower than MSRP. Not only that, but another miner was selling laptops with an RTX 3060 in them for $1,000, and that wasn't good enough, as commenters wanted to pay less than half that. Of course, these are clearly from mining farms, so you know they've been running non-stop for probably months. Plus, they were being sold in bulk, but still, just a couple months ago, someone could have easily bought these and sold them individually for hundreds of dollars more apiece, regardless of them being mining GPUs or not. Basically, the market is quickly correcting the massive influx in buying from miners, and while it may not be affecting prices everywhere just yet, Tom's Hardware's new price index shows a 15% drop in prices compared to June already. With all of that said, AMD's CEO is claiming that their GPU supply will likely continue to be tight throughout this year. Hopefully that doesn't account for the recent sell-offs, I'm not sure. Either way, things are getting better, with some cards literally below MSRP. Let's just hope they continue down this trend. So while that does it for today, are you still holding out for a GPU or are you just bummed about this new Microsoft exploit? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.